so this is really important information. Um, Serge Monsat, uh, Monas, sorry. Um, he was a journalist and here is a picture of him. Uh, he was a journalist and within weeks, uh, him and another journalist died of heart attacks. They have a heart attack machine and, um, within weeks, uh, they, they died. They, they never had heart disease or any kind of problems or anything like that. But, uh, the other Canadian journalist was visiting Ireland and prior to his death, the Canadian uh, government, uh, abducted Serge's daughter and attempt to dissuade him from uh, pursuing his research into Project Bluebeam. And his daughter was never returned to him. So um, this man, went, he risked his life. He had uh, people in the military and he had lots of connections and he did get a hold of certain documents uh, in order to show the plans. And it's amazing, you know, because this was 21 years ago and he's showing things that we're hearing about right now, like the New World Order, the One World Global Currency, NASA, uh, the, the blue beam, uh, the lights that they use, uh, the holographics that they can do. They can create a whole city right in front of you or a person. Just, you know, you would think it would be a real person talking to you. They do have that technology. So NASA's Project Blue Beam uh, by Serge, he wrote uh, a long article about it. He had it published and with the documents and he, that's why he was killed. And so um, the infamous NASA Blue Beam project has four different steps in order to implement the new age religion with the Antichrist at its head. And this was his words 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. We must remember that the new age religion is the very foundation for the new world government without which religion, the dictatorship of the new world order is completely impossible. And he repeats that. Without a universal belief in the new age religion that they're bringing in, the success of the new world order will be impossible. That is why the Blue Beam Project is so important to them, but has been so well hidden until now. This is a document hmm. he has uh, that he published. And this is uh, from the United Nations. And it talks about the, ste the steps of it. And you can find that online. Um, their goals are to abolish all Christian uh, traditional religions in order to replace them with one world religion based on the cult of man, to abolish all national identity and national pride in the order to establish a world identity and a world pride, to abolish the family as known as today in order to replace them with individuals all working for the glory of the new one world government, to destroy all individual artistic and scientific creativity to implant, implement a one world government, one mindset. The first step in uh, Blue Beam concerns the breakdown of all archeological knowledge. It deals with the setup with artificially created earthquakes at certain precise locations on the planet of supposedly new discoveries. Yeah, uh, this I've been waiting for. I've actually, before even hearing this person, I've been going that they, <clears throat> you think about all the stuff that they put in the Smithsonian Institution, Institute, all these, yeah. all these Carnegie endowments and things where they take all these private stashes, the Queens and the Kings and all their private stashes of stuff. And then you just orchestrate, just like they're doing with these false flags, you orchestrate an event where you roll out some of these interesting items at these, at these sites. And there you go. You got creative uh, false flag archaeology. And that's what they're going to do to say panspermia, of course. They want to keep the alien angle, but go ahead. Oh, yeah. That's the, one of the biggest things, too, is the, um, the second step deals with a gigantic space show. 3D optical holograms and sounds, laser projections of multiple holographic images in different parts of the world, each receiving a different image according to its predetermined original national religious faith. This new God image will talk in all languages. <laughs> and that's not it. <laughs> so remember, it's all alive. So you see that they have this technology and space to make a whole city right up here before you. That's what they did here. 
Hmm. When Obama got his peace award, this is the sign that they showed in the sky. Yeah, see, if you just put a staff underneath that, you know, just stick a staff on it, <laughs> it, it looks like one of those ancient uh, priest kind of uh, symbols. Yeah, those were magical staffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The third step deals with telepathic electronic two-way communication. ELF extra low frequency, VLF very low frequency, and LF low frequency waves will reach the people of the earth through the insides of their brain, making each person believe that his own God is speaking to him from within his own soul. Now, this is Serge Mon Monist uh, research, okay? I'm not saying this is actually how it's going to happen or if they haven't changed right. their... Well, vision or their technology at this at that point this is just what he wrote if you want to research this topic it's a fascinating topic you just search voice to skull technology you'll see the navy shipyard shooting and those who follow me know that i make friend of the deucey fun of the deuces because uh, the youngest deucey on the fox so it was uh, the first guy on the scene at the navy shipyard and he had a elf weapon, and um, actually, uh, I think Infowars had a picture of some of that stuff. But uh, yes, sound, uh, voice to skull technology is what we're talking about here, and also earthquake stuff with the extremely low frequency. Um, they have some machines; they just shoot them into the ground, and they can cause earthquakes. So, real interesting stuff. Yeah, they have all kinds of things that we we don't know that they have. I mean, their technology is probably well over a hundred years from our mind thinking, maybe even beyond that. But well, I, I know thousands. that it would blow everybody away if they knew. I think thousands, because I think the whole point of raiding these archaeological sites of Gilgamesh and things like that is to get the ancient alien technology and reverse engineer it. And they just go to wherever the fallen angels tell them their stuff is stashed. And that that's what I believe Operation High Jump was when I talked about that, was that in, uh, in Antarctica when Bird got chased out of there, and the Nazi, you know, supposedly Nazi saucers. I think that that actually it really did exist, and that was uh, ancient alien technology reverse engineered. So interesting, or right, fallen angel technology. I won't use the term alien. Yeah, and you know, in the end times, men's hearts will fail mm -hmm. for what they see. So this is an interesting part of it. Uh, in detail, he wrote, the fourth step is a mixture of electronic and supernatural forces. The waves used at the time will allow supernatural forces to travel through optical fibers, mm. cable, TV cables, electrical, and phone lines in order to penetrate to everyone at once through a major appliances. Embedded chips will have already be in place. Mm. The goal of this deals with global satanic ghosts projected all around the world in order to push all populations to the edge of hysteria and madness to mm -hmm. drown them into a wave of suicide, murder, and permanent psychological disorders. After the night of the thousand stars, worldwide populations will be ready for the new Messiah to reestablish order and peace at any cost, even at the cost of abdication of freedom. So you mean we won't have to watch the Walking Dead series nonstop? This will actually just happen for real in front of us? <laughs> People go insane and kill each other? Well, I can't imagine it and can't even believe it myself until I actually, if I ever see it. But this is just what Serge wrote. And, you know, based on all the things that he's written in his background, it's, you know, and the people that he was connected to and then the documents that he presented. Um, it's it's just interesting to 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 ponder on it. Well, if you if you study emotions and uh, the low frequency emotions, uh, you see the like the depression and um, apathy and and uh, you know um, just those feelings of suicide. Those are very low energy, low emotions, low frequency. And if you study entrainment, uh, the entrainment research that went on with the brain research, uh, you could pump a, say, a depression beam across the pop of the population, and a certain percentage of those people's brains will entrain to that frequency. And then you've got a group of depressed people. So, I mean, it's very possible because everything can be reduced to wavelengths and, and bursts of, you know, 
or anxiety, whatever uh, the pr promote anxiety, whatever frequency needs to be out there to shoot that. So people begin to act emotional and irrational and do impulsive things. I mean, I, I can see it could happen very, I mean, moral people don't think of things like this. <laughs> moral people don't think of how to drive your city insane so that you can gain control over it by martial law or something. But these people do. Yeah, wait till you see what else he said. Uh oh. After a little bit, after, um, is it this one? Oh, yeah, this is it. The goal to make mankind believe that an alien off world invasion is about to occur at every major city on Earth in order to provoke each major nation to use its nuclear weapons in order to strike back. This way, the United Nations Court will require that all those nations which launched nuclear weapons to disarm when the invasion is shown to have been false. And how will the United Nations know at the, that the invasion was false? Because they staged it, of course. Serge <laughs> Monas. <laughs> That's his own words, you know, and so. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Well, the United Nations, right? Peace in our times. Just as the last, uh, if you want to go red box and see this, what we're talking about here, you can go rent the Avengers movie, um, Age of Ultron, and hear all this gobbledygook. And, uh, you know, it's all right. And then that movie is so, just so, that movie is so plastered with this stuff. It's ridiculous. Go ahead. So their goals is an international army. They already got it an international police force, they already got it. A world bank for the economy, they already got it. A world government under the United Nations, pretty much a done deal. A world conservator, con conservatory bank mm -hmm. for the wilderness preservation around the world. That means all green movements will be melded into a new international bank or disappear altogether. A world religion where all church doctrines will be destroyed at the roots <laughs> to be replaced by the new world religion of the age of Aquarius. The world seven races classification for all human slaves who will fulfill predetermined work tasks, whether they agree to it or not. <laughs> the world concentration headquarters at the United Nations for those who will not accept the new system. <laughs> the world agriculture and food supply control, which will control food and vitamin supplies around the world. <laughs> 